Well, hello. Welcome to Jim Payne ADV. We're taking a journey starting this afternoon, and we're heading currently up Douglas Pass, southbound. The snow's just melting off the hill now. Putting along about 30 mile an hour. Going around some sharp curves, but anyways, we're on our way to Gateway, Colorado. I think is where we're going to camp tonight. And tomorrow, we're going to be going out toward uh, Monument Valley, Utah. So we're gradually working our way down to Arizona. And our destiny is uh, Bisbee, Arizona, where we're going to be arriving on Tuesday. But we'll be visiting multiple places in between here and there. So, anyways, beautiful mountain here. I like to take this mountain as far as the back road to get away from the traffic when I'm going to Grand Junction. So, anyways, enjoy. Enjoy the scenery. through Uniweep Canyon on 141. Still got a bunch of wind, so it's kind of hard to talk, but Uniweep Canyon, heading south for Gateway. We're about 40 miles out from Gateway now. Kind of pretty in here. A little creek off to my right. spot here for the evening. We're out here on day one or what I'd call section one of my trip and it comes to be I downloaded my tracks to my GPS but I didn't get my waypoints for some reason so I kind of knew where the camp spot was but darn I wish I would have had the waypoints on the on the GPS just to drive right over here so Anyways, I'm off just four and a tenth road out of Gateway, just a few miles west, and I'm along the river here, and I just got done shooting some nice shots from behind me there of the book cliffs over there. And uh, just getting ready to set up camp. I mean, there's a lot of boondockers out here, so all the good spots are taken, but tell you what, if I can get a spot that's set for camp. I can put my tent out this evening without having to do it in the dark. I'm a happy camper. So, anyways, uh, this is the spot. It's just kind of off the gravel road, but there's really no traffic. There's the bike. It's kind of what it looks like. Uh, KLR's kind of a bit loaded down more this year because I've got, uh, like I say, I've got a camera with a lens packed in the bike and also a drone. So I had to take a bigger uh, duffel bag this year along with a couple sacks tied onto the side of my panniers there to make this trip happen. So I'm going to go ahead and get the tent set up and get things ready to go for sleeping tonight and I'll catch up with you later. Yeah, I want to let you guys know too, this is Friday evening, May 7th. I don't know if I mentioned that. Time's about 8 o'clock. I don't like getting camp spots this late. I, I really kind of dead set in my head on the bike to have something no later than 6 in the evening. If not 5 o'clock, I kind of like to start looking for camp. But there's a lot of stuff down toward Whitewater. But man, it is hard. Everything is hard over toward it. Whitewater as far as putting stakes in it. It's just all rock. And yeah, there's quite a few campers down there partying down along 141 there. So this is a nice spot. I'm happy that I found it. And I can just show you the river down here just a bit. 
There we go. So I can just walk right on down the river here if I like. No bugs yet. No mosquitoes. There's the river. The camp spot's just right off the river. And it doesn't cost anything. It's free. So it's kind of in the area that I wanted to pick out, and I think it'll work. But boy, uh, that red, those bluffs out there, the sun's just hitting them just right. That's just pretty. It's just gorgeous. Check that out. So we're going to be looking at a lot of rocks on this trip because we're heading south to Bisbee, Arizona. That's our destination on this motorcycle ride. And right now I'm just at camp number one for Friday night. And tomorrow night we will be camping around uh, the Moki Dugway on the BLM. So we can get up the first thing Sunday morning and take some beautiful pictures off the Moki Dugway instead of camping down in... Uh, Monument Valley where there's not a tree to be found for miles. I mean, it's just no good. So I'm going to go camp on the BLM up there. Anyway, there you go. There's a river. We'll catch up with you later. Well, good morning. You're on a happy Saturday morning, May 8th. It's about uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, and I just got done shooting some pictures with the uh, SLR camera and just finishing up on a little bit of coffee, but I couldn't be happier with this camp spot I got here just out of Gateway, Colorado. Uh, you know how it is sometimes when you're riding your bike and it's getting late and you know you're heading for a camp spot, but you're not exactly sure if it's going to be crowded or what the place is going to look like or if you're just going to be camping on a gravel pile <laughs> when you get your bike to your destination but I'll tell you what it was well worth coming to this camp I mean I thought about camping closer to Grand Junction and all the shale and granite rot just out of Whitewater but boy it would have been tough pounding stakes there there are quite a few people there too but this place has got wildlife Geese woke me up first thing this morning, and there's just birds, different places. And I am psyched along the Dolores River here. This is a great place to camp. Well, we're here on a Saturday morning, just heading out of our gateway camp, and I guess we'll go on down toward the store and see if we get some fuel. I've got about 56 miles on this tank now, but the next gas stop would be Monticello, Utah. So I kind of want to make sure I got enough fuel. So there's the boondockers down there. So it's been a great camp. It's been nice.
this is Highway 90 that we're riding toward LaSalle, Utah. And I was really looking forward to riding this road. I've never been on it before. This is some of the stuff I wanted to see. in Utah now. We just crossed the border just a couple miles back. Bit of curbs for you. Wow. There's some good ones here. Well, we're on uh, Highway 95 going southwest, and we're kind of headed for 261 for the Moki Dugway. That's kind of where we're looking to camp this evening, out somewhere in the junipers near the Moki Dugway. And in the morning, we'll do a lot of video and photography in the Moki, the Moki Dugway and then down into uh, the, camp, or the Monument Valley. There's your shot of what all this looks like on 95. If we kept on going on it, we'd end up at the Capitol Reefs and some of these other places. It's a road I haven't traveled all the way through yet, but would like to. I've arrived here at camp. Uh, this camp is not as pretty as Gateway's plant camp. Matter of fact, I'm just about 10 miles uh, north of the Moki Dugway up here on Highway 261. I'm kind of close to the road here, but everything is deep sand up here, these, these trails where I'm at, and I didn't want to take the bike into the sand and get stuck, so. I've got a gravel pad here and riding solo with all the weight on the bike. At least I can just jump on the motorcycle in the morning and no questions asked, I can go. The KLR gets pretty heavy with my camping gear and I'm just going on a long ride. I just got too much weight and boy, if I drop it in the sand, it's just a bear cat to pick up. So I'm not going to do that. I mean, younger guys want to go out or, you know, if I had some guys with me, it may not be such a problem. But right now, Camp is camp. It's free. I got some soft dirt to sleep on tonight. I've got my tarp. I blue tarp under the tent. I don't want to get all that damn dirt on my bottom of the tent. It's hard to get all that silky dust out. So anyway, that's the tent there. And this is it. Wokey Dugway country. 
I had some chicken, fried chicken down in Monticello, so it kind of killed my appetite a bit. But actually, I did kind of get the bike stuck earlier, so it kind of made me pretty thirsty here. I didn't go in too far, but I had a hell of a time turning around with the, with the weight and everything. So, anyways, I thought I'd check in. God, what time is it here? It is 8 o'clock on Saturday evening. So, tomorrow morning we'll get up and we'll go down to the Mokey Duckway and we'll shoot some video and some photos and then maybe get on down the Monument Valley and check it out as well. So, anyways, till tomorrow. We'll see you later. Bye bye.